Lord mercy. Hey folks, I'd like to uh, thank all my subscribers here on my YouTube channel. And uh, this is Bubba, the Jewish Redneck Prepper. Here today, I'm over here at my father's house. And he has uh, some garden plants that he likes to grow and stuff. This right here, I'd like to make this presentation as an edible, but it's not necessarily a wild edible. My father likes to do gardening anymore because remember, even past these tree lines, he used to grow like a three-acre garden back 30 years ago. But now he still likes to garden, but he does container garden. He's got some tomato plants here. He's got some cucumber plants over here. Give you got you deer of those that's never done farming or been around farming. But these are some young plants. And see what the little blossoms here. A cucumber looks like. And those is kind of what's going to end up being the cucumbers. He's got some more plants over there in the big blue plastic drums. But what I wanted to show you today, well, before I get go any further, now it's got all these tomato plants. It won't be long before these tomato plants will be having some tomatoes will be coming out green. Have some fried green tomatoes if you want them. And uh, the other tomatoes, different types here he's got. He's got some big boys out here and he's got some different beef boys he grows all these other plants but what I wanted to show you here is he's growing some chives over here but look at this beautiful mint plant he's got here it's something they bought from the store and growing in the pot and that beautiful plant smells like mint Tastes like mint. It's delicious. But my presentation I wanted to make here, look at all that beautiful squash here. That's right, folks. A little while, Father's going to have some squash. And if you see down here, see this bloom? Right there. A beautiful yellow bloom. Yep. Let me get this leaf back. That bloom. Notice it's turn, slowly turning into a squash because there's the squash right here. We're going to have some yellow squash here in a little while. And right down here, we've got another, another squash coming up. But here in this big mass of plant, see all these squash coming off these beautiful blooms? Look at that one particular beautiful bloom right here that hasn't turned into a squash yet. This one bloom. Hasn't really gotten some, that much water. It's a little, it looks like it's trying to die. But what I wanted to tell you is that there's a lot of flowers out there that's edible, like roses, tulips, and a squash bloom flower is also an edible. That's right, folks. You can eat squash blooms, not just only the squash, but the blooms are delicate. That's my father earlier. I said, did you know they were blooms were edible? He said, yeah, but I prefer the squash. <laughs> yep. I couldn't help but to agree with him 100% more. But case and study, squash could be something that you could find in a wild. They got out and started growing wild, left unattended. Some places you could find a wild squash. And I just want to let you know if you ever have to be in a survival situation, that the bloom are edible. Get them in salad. You can fry them and all the like. Well folks, I hope you enjoyed this little presentation on container farming because all the land you can do is you could take just like my father has done in these buckets and these containers here. You can build tables and grow the same thing on tables. Like if you're elderly, up in age and stuff like that, you wouldn't have to worry about bending over 
and everything, you put these same plants on tables, metal drums, or even stacks of milk crates like we got back here. Well, folks, I hope you enjoyed this video. And let me give you my disclaimer here. Even though I eat wild edibles, never eat a plant that you don't know about. Because, see, some edible plants have a look-alike plant or a cousin that can look just like it and be toxic. Some plants have edible parts, and yet other parts are toxic. If you want to get into foraging, let me suggest that you join groups on Facebook, go to bookstores like Barnes and Nobles, Books and Millions, and other bookstores, and buy books on foraging. Learn, get together with others, form groups uh, about wild edibles. Join with people with like-minded that like foraging and stuff like that, and learn from each other. Have a community amongst yourselves as foragers. Well, folks, this is Jewish the Redneck Prepper, Jewish Prepper. Okay, i like to thank all my subscribers and everything. If you're not a subscriber to my YouTube channel, let me encourage you to subscribe to the Jewish Redneck Prepper or my Facebook, Dumpster Divers for Prepping and Survival. Well, folks, you enjoyed this joint video, hit like, share, and subscribe. Until the next time, this is Bubba saying shalom, God bless, enjoy the journey.